Hey everyone, so we are officially in October, which means Season 2 of The Mandalorian is coming out this month. So, I thought I'd kick off the month by doing a quick fan theory slash fan fiction. What if Boba Fett takes Din, the Mando, and the child to Ilum? Before we jump in, I just want to let you know, none of this story is based in any facts or, or, or anything like that. It's simply one way that I would like to see Boba Fett incorporated into The Mandalorian. With that out of the way, let's jump into today's video. Din was now the leader of a clan of two. He and the child had spent a significant amount of time in the cockpit of the Razor Crest. They were traveling across the galaxy. The task of searching for the Jedi was proving to be much more difficult than he had anticipated. But Din was determined to bring the child to his rightful family, though a growing part of him hoped that that didn't happen. Din would use his resources and contacts to search for any leads. One name would come back to him, Skywalker. At the height of the Galactic Civil War, a rebel named Luke Skywalker had played a significant role in destroying the Emperor and his enforcer, Vader. Records indicated that he was a Jedi. However, there was no way of tracking Skywalker down. There were only dead ends. There was no information regarding his current whereabouts. The only thing Din could find was the planet Luke was raised, Tatooine. Blast. Din hated that place. Din and the child traveled to Tatooine at once. It wasn't much of a lead, but it was a start. The Razorcrest touched down in the Mosaisley spaceport. A wretched hive of scum and villainy, Din thought to himself. The Mandalorian bounty hunter exited his ship with the child in tow. The child went everywhere with him. They made their way to the cantina that hosted a great deal of travelers. It sat just outside the main hangars. In keeping with their tradition, Din ordered some soup for the child and nothing for himself. He would listen. The child would eat. Hours of sitting and listening yielded nothing but stares. A Mandalorian was not a common sight at this point. Din was used to the stares and especially when the stairs bounced between him and the child. It was a strange sight, no doubt. A Rodian approached Din. He was drunk. Pull off that helmet. I want to see if the kid looks like his father. The Rodian stumbled forward and knocked the soup off of the table in front of the child. This caused Din to jump up, but he was immediately knocked from behind. Two other Rodians appeared brandishing blasters. That armor looks valuable, they slurred. At this point, the patrons of the cantina were all watching the inevitable showdown. Din would quickly reach for his blaster, but before he could do anything, three bursts of blaster bolts erupted from a dark corner of the cantina. To Din's surprise, a figure wearing the most beat-up Mandalorian armor emerged from the shadows, 